Talented artist Bill Bledsoe is joining us in studio to talk about a new piece of his work featuring ETSU and UT. Thank you so much for being here, Bill. We Thanks always appreciate you me. coming in. Oh, yeah. Thank you for yeah. having me. Yeah. And so this obviously, this work behind us right here obviously has to do with the game over the weekend yes. between UT and ETSU. Right. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, uh, again, it's sort of it's sort of challenging to create a painting in celebration of a team uh, that, uh, that lost a game. But yeah. for me... Uh, I've been doing several paintings of the football program over the last three years going into their fourth season and I felt like this was a historical game because mm -hmm. regardless of the outcome what it does for the Bucks is it allows those individual players to assess themselves where they are and where they need to be not just as individuals but as a team mm -hmm. and it gets them out of that bubble that they're in which is technically their conference and so I believe that this game is going to be historically significant for the program not just for this season but for seasons to come oh, that's wonderful. and so for me because of that I felt like this warrants a painting mm -hmm. and to be part of that collection that I'm doing. Yeah, and so tell us a little bit about the collection. Uh, well, the collection, like it has the very first game that ETSU played when they brought the program back, their first win, the win at uh, BMS, uh, uh, their first game at home actually did a painting of the football field itself uh -huh. in addition to that. And so I picked these games that have, I believe, significance. And I think that this will be part of that collection. Yeah, and it's very cool too because when we look at it kind of up close, you can see the orange right. kind of behind. Obviously, it was at UT, right? So there was a lot more orange in the crowd sure. than, yeah. than blue and gold. But you also saw a lot of blue and gold, or people wearing those, you sure. know, house divided shirts. That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. And then the idea that uh, you had this team that was facing a tremendous amount of adversity, mm -hmm. and just that idea of the single player up against this arena of orange uh, representing both himself and his team yeah and that sense of determination uh, my students at Tusculum they're all on a most of them are on a sports scholarship so they're very interested in sports illustration so we had long discussions about how would you create this image before the game uh, how you know how can we translate this how can we compose this right and uh, and there were different opinions about it but ultimately it was like look it needs to be that single player mm -hmm. facing what symbolically is this this huge arena right. uh, of the, the opposition sea of orange, that's right the right? sea of orange that's correct yeah. yeah and so for you being able to kind of bring this to your students and this as being almost a inspiration to them mm -hmm. what does that mean for you to kind of be able to help them do that well I mean for years you know I've been doing sports right. artwork as part of what I do and so for me it was for me and uh, or it might have been related to a commission but now I'm able to relate that to them mm -hmm. and they're able to explore that and bring their own signature to it so I run them through the process here's how you do it you go from point A to point B uh, you know and then of course a lot of these things you know are done mm -hmm. very quickly like the Super Bowl painting you know it's done the following the game and then we unveil it on the show the next morning right so it's not an issue where they can sit and think about it at nauseum. They've got to be able to come up with an idea fairly quickly and be able to execute mm -hmm. it fairly quickly fairly quickly and you know and that's the option between using artwork as opposed to a photograph right but you've got to be able to work fast yeah <laughs> and so and so they and they all want to be able to get a job in the field of art regardless of what directed right. they take but this gives them an option to consider especially because they're so uh, interested in sports anyway yeah well you sound like a great mentor and we always oh, well, appreciate you. you well we always appreciate you coming in and this is such a great and unique painting and like you said it's kind of what they are facing walking into that sea of orange yeah. we always thank, appreciate you coming you. in thank appreciate you again it. we really do